the smart school class 5 science video lesson 2 we shall continue chapter number 1 which is skeleton and bones today our topic is types of bones and fractures we shall study page number 3 and 5 you will need smart science 5 textbook notebook and your pencils during this lesson. Are you ready? By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify seven different types of bones in the skeleton and their shapes. Define the term fracture. Name the three types of fracture. Describe the symptoms of a fracture. We shall start with a bit of a recap of the previous lesson. Do you remember what is a joint? Yes, the joint is a place where two or more bones meet. As you can see in this picture, this is a joint where two bones are meeting. Can you tell which type of joint is this? What is the name of this joint? The name of this joint is hinge joint. What type of movement do you see in this joint? Is it in all directions or is it only in one direction? The hinge joint allows movement in one direction only. Think of a body part where you will find a hinge joint, fixed joint and ball and socket joint. You will find these joints in hinge joints are present in elbows, knees, fingers and ankles. Fixed joints are present in your skull, your tooth roots and between two long bones. Ball and socket joints are present in your shoulders and your hips. Let's go through some important words that we will use during the lesson. Cranial, facial, throat, pressure, crack, fracture, hairline, compound, symptom, swelling, bruising and angulation. So these are the types of bones that are present in the human skeleton. Here you can see the shoulder bones. These are the cranial bones present in your skull. These are the facial bones that join to form the face. This is the throat bone. These are the arm bones, the hip bones, and the leg bones. All these different types of bones join together to form skeleton. Now that you have seen the different types of bones in the human skeleton, we shall now see their names one by one and their numbers in the human skeleton. So can you tell what type of bone is this? This is the throat bone and it is only one in number. What bones are these? These are facial bones. They join together to form our face. And these are 14 in number. What are these bones? These are cranial bones. They join together to make our skull. And they are 8 in number. What are these bones? These are shoulder bones and there are total 4 bones in the shoulder. You can guess what these bones are, right? Obviously, these are the arm bones and there are total 6 arm bones which join together to make an arm. Does this look like anything familiar? Yes, these are hip bones. These are 2 in number which join together to make our hips. 
type of bones are shown in this picture. These are leg bones. They are eight in number and they join together to make our leg. Have you ever heard about someone who has been in an accident? Maybe someone who has fallen from a bicycle or someone who was hit on the arm by a hard cricket ball. Maybe the person who was falling from a bicycle broke his leg or the person who was hit on the arm by a hard cricket ball may break his arm. This is called a fracture. Bones may crack or break when a large or sudden pressure is applied on them. This is called fracture and this is how the bones look like after going through a fracture. This is a bone that is healthy and not broken. This is a broken bone which is shown with the help of an x-ray. What do you know about the different types of fracture in bones? It can be a simple fracture as this one or a compound fracture which looks like this or a hairline fracture which is only when a small part of the bone is broken. How do you know if your bone is fractured. We shall now go through some signs which can tell us about the fracture of our bones. The first one is that you will experience extreme pain and swelling. If you have swelling around the area or extreme pain, you may have a fracture in your bones. Your skin around the fracture may be bruised or discolored. Here you can see the skin color is changed as compared to the skin here and here. This is an indication and a sign of bone fracture. When you experience a bone fracture, you are unable to put your weight on this. You can see this person is holding a crutch and this is where the bone is broken. The person is unable to put weight on this broken foot. What is happening in this picture? A boy who jumped fell on his wrist and the wrist of the boy turned on an unusual and unnatural angle. Due to this, there is a fracture in the bone. This is called angulation. Another sign of bone fracture is when the blood vessels present inside your bone damage and there is bleeding in the fractures. This is another sign of bone fracture where you are unable to move a joint. Here the person is unable to move shoulder joint that may be a sign of bone fracture. This is what a grating sensation should feel like. This is when bone pieces in between two of your bones cause cracking or grating. We have gone through all the symptoms of bone fracture. If a person experiences one or more than one of these signs, there must be an examination from the doctor to check if the bone is fractured or not. How do we examine a bone fracture? How do we know if a bone is fractured? We know with the help of an x-ray. You can see the picture here shows a fracture we cannot see directly as we have skin and muscles over the bones. So we use x-rays to get a picture of the bones and then we can see if a bone is fractured or if it is alright. 
Now we shall go through a quick quiz based on what we have studied so far. The first question is, which of the following picture shows cranial bones? Is it picture A or is it picture B or is it picture C? The correct answer is, picture A shows cranial bones. This is hip bone and this is leg bone. How are bone fractures examined? How do we know if our bones are fractured? Do we know this by surgery or by x-rays or by a stethoscope? The correct answer is by x-rays. We shall now summarize what we have studied so far in this lesson. Human skeleton is made of different types of bones. These bones vary in their shapes and sizes. Bones can crack or break under pressure. This is called fracture. The three types of bone fracture are simple fracture, compound fracture and hairline fracture. The signs of bone fracture are pain, swelling, bruising, discolored skin, angulation, being unable to put weight on the affected area, difficulty in movement, and grating sensation and bleeding. Any of these signs may indicate bone fracture. I hope you're ready for your home task. You are to read from pages 3 and 5 of the textbook and then you are going to attempt exercise question B on page 7 of the textbook and this question will be attempted on your textbooks. You are going to label the skeleton and you are going to put the names of these bones in the column given right on the page where the skeleton picture is given. Good luck!